Uh, welcome everyone. I am Dr. Guru Prasad Peruri, Neonatologist and Pediatrician by profession. I am the faculty for Need Super Specialty Pediatrics in ADR Plexus. So, we all know Need Super Specialty results are out. So, I take the privilege of introducing to you Dr. Anita, who is our topper, who has scored 301 marks and stood 12th uh, in uh, Need Super Specialty exam. So we will learn from her what is her journey, what is her uh, preparation strategy, like what is the, what are the books she read, etc., etc. Uh, from her own words. Okay. Now I welcome Dr. Anita. Congratulations uh, for your rank. Uh, how do you feel now? Uh, thank you very much, sir. Actually, it took a while for me for the, for the result to sunk in. I was not expecting a good hang like this, actually. But then after that, I'm really happy. I had put in like genuine hard work into this. So I'm really glad that it has paid off. So very happy. I cannot be happier. Okay, very good. So uh, tell us a few basic details like where are you from? Where did you do your UG and PG? So I'm from Kerala. Uh, I did my under uh, UG from Trivandrum Medical College. Uh, I did my pediatrics from MD pediatrics from Kolkata Medical College again in uh, Kerala. Uh, so uh, okay. then I finished my uh, MD pediatrics this year, like in 2021. Um, and so you are relatively very fresh, just six months uh, old out of the exam. Yes, sir. Uh, so I just got a bit lucky because the exams were postponed a bit. Need was postponed a bit, so I got some. Uh, you know, free time then and I, I could prepare a little better uh, because of that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, when did you start uh, preparing for these uh, exams? Um, sir, actually, um, uh, I did not I did not start my preparation until after my IMD exams were over. So after that, um, I thought maybe, I mean, I'm relatively fresh uh, and I scored well in my um, theory exams also. So I thought, okay, why not put it to use and maybe we can write. So initially, my idea was like, that let's just give it a genuine try and see where it goes. So that's how I started my preparation. And then I asked my seniors, like, how is the exam going? How is the exam pattern? And basically, I did not get a good idea from my, um, from my, uh, like, from what I asked. Of. So I was a bit confused to start with. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll just put in whatever effort I can. And then I'll write the exam first time. And then with that, I'll make the necessary um, you know, changes for the next exam. So that was my uh, plan study. But then when I got to reading, I felt interesting. Nelson felt a bit more different from what, when, you know, when I was uh, preparing for the MD exam. After that, when the MCQ, we had to think like in an MCQ pattern, it felt easier to prepare because I'm re reading again. So it felt, Nelson felt easier. So uh, it was, it got interesting. The preparation became interesting and I just got a little uh, focused after that. So then I, uh, my focus study for my um, uh, NEET SS began, I think after August. So from September onwards, I started preparing well. So that time when I started the exam was in November. So I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to get, uh, have a good revision. But then I then it got postponed, so I could actually had a I had a good revision after that. So that's how my exam went. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> generally speaking, what are the books you read? Uh, obviously, Nelson. Uh, Nelson was like the Bible. So um, my revision, everything was based on Nelson. And then I read bit uh, for neonatology. I read I read Cloherty as well. So the latest edition of Cloherty was also. Uh, I was also kept as a reference. Uh, other than that, I did not, uh, I did not prefer any other book other than these two books. These were the only two books. And for a little bit, I think for a little, few chapters of um, OP guy also, uh, I had already uh, for the theory exam, I had already had the notes prepared. So I referred my notes. Nothing extra uh, from any other book or nothing extra from OP guy other than my notes I already had. I did not refer anything else. So. I think 99, 95% it was my uh, revision was or my uh, preparation was based on Nelson alone. Excellent, excellent. Like how did our ADR plexus or our Nelson Rapido course, how did it help you? Yes, sir. Actually, um, so uh, when I started my preparation, I was, uh, I did not have any idea how this is going to go. So I had, I was attending, I started attending a few classes of multiple 
um, other platforms and i i still did not know where i was standing so i was getting some marks i don't know if the i didn't know whether those ranks were good whether those marks were good so i had no idea so that is how that is when i came to know about adr flexus so one of my senior in jibner so um, so i came to know about this adr flexus this nelson rapid so i was i was interested at then and there so it was like oh, this is what i wanted now i wanted a whole revision of uh, nelson um, and i wanted something challenging so that i can you know push myself uh, so that that is when i started uh, nelson rapid revision and it actually changed my preparation strategy i start initially i had good ranks in uh, the rapido and then i started scoring lesser marks so then i became alarm okay maybe i should you know change my uh, pattern of uh, studying or my revision should be like this so i i got a, like a i got like a you know a good overview about nelson and good overview about my preparation strategy when after i joined this uh, rapido series okay like we uh, the basic way how we designed the course was also like that we didn't want like to repeat all the previous questions or uh, that is not our motto our motto was to uh, make student revise all important topic for the exams that is how we designed the course like there was no repetition of questions or mostly there is no repetition of topics we concentrate more on explanations rather than on question our uh, motto was to revise the whole topic along with the question rather than just giving one questions which other platforms don't have that is uh, what we thought in how uh, i think i uh, it helped not only you it helped many other uh, people like uh, how many questions do you think like uh, came directly or from the video explanation out of 100 how many of you do you think uh, it came i think sir um a lot of questions were directly or indirectly based on the questions we've had in our uh, test series uh, direct questions a few direct even some a few direct questions came but those were few i thought that um, the present the exam that uh, had happened was a little bit different from what i was expecting so i was expecting like one liners factual questions that was my idea when i appeared because <laughs> and what i uh, gathered from my seniors and all but these this time it was very different it was a little bit a longer lengthier questions were there clinical clinically oriented questions were there so that was like a little bit different but i think um, we had covered such questions in our app so that time and uh, the rapido series actually surprise every exam it was like a surprise many surprise questions were there so i think it it got me used to getting surprised so when i attempted i was like okay um the, i have had this level of difficulty in that exam so i had scored this much in that exam so i had an idea where i would be standing mark wise rank wise i didn't know but mark wise i was expecting and targeting like a 300 marks so i got 301 so i think my you know strategy and my questions the question answering everything worked okay uh some interesting questions from uh, students like how many questions did you attempt uh i think i left uh seven questions okay so almost 92 to 93 questions you have uh, attempted so what advice uh, would you like to give for uh, someone who is doing md pediatrics now uh for for their future so based on my my preparation i would say that um, you cannot compromise on your final md exam uh, so you should give your best and you should prepare for the theory of final md exam well because uh, you would be uh, you would be revising you would be covering the entire nelson there i i did not cover my entire nelson again for the uh, the neat ss i had a good base so that that should be obtained i think for the md final so md final should be prepared well and i would suggest everybody to you know straight away prepare start preparing for neat tests after your uh, in, uh, your md exams are over because you can finish everything in one go rather than forgetting everything you learned and then re- restarting again that is that would be difficult so start preparing uh, for the md finals and well theory exams well and after that within a few you know a couple of months you can actually revise and uh, get your focus areas right and you can actually crack the exam a neat ss exam okay uh, during this last 6 months like averagely how many hours per day did you study or what kept you motivating uh, to study 
did you ever feel uh, low, uh, low down or you felt like mm, okay we will see for the next time something like that or you are having the continuous motivation i know i do not have continuous motivation whenever i got like uh, when i started scoring lesser marks i would be like oh uh, maybe this is not the time i'm going to get uh, the neat ss or the seat i want uh, then um, i used to get uh, you know motivation from my friends and my husband my family members they like okay it is no big deal you know it's just an exam just you know just give it your best shot and let's see from there so i kept i i, I have my ups i had my downs like every other student but what kept me motivated like you know the love for the subject and that i want a seat i want the seat and i want i had a few options and you know that kept me motivated okay this this this, this is like the best best attempt it would be the best attempt like just let's just get this so somehow uh, that kept me motivated and excellent uh, like i didn't ask you like which super specialty you are going to opt and which institute is your preference um in like i am i like oncology part of pediatrics and during my um, md days um, i got inspired by the uh, department in my college and i am very much in um, oncology not that i am uh, i am interested in every part of uh, pediatrics pediatrics is like a very good subject and very passionate about pediatrics but oncology is one thing i am like a little more uh, passionate about so i am planning and i'm hoping to get into a good oncology seat um, but i'm not really decided like where to get like i'm getting a lot of opinion and a lot, lot of suggestions from multiple people choose that choose this for many other reasons yeah i'm not a decided on the institute but yeah any oncology seat i would be happy okay okay uh, the other faculty dr uh, arthi madam is herself an oncologist working in kitboy i think uh, she can guide you uh, like where to get and all those things definitely she will help you in that okay and any uh, suppose anyone you want to thank through this platform so who you, you would dedicate your success or something like that much to my husband <laughs> well he <laughs> throughout the preparation and he kept me motivated and my parents uh they are all like you know every time i take an entrance they are thinking like okay maybe this is the time she stop taking entrance and she finally settles down but again they get they you know they you know get motivated and motivate me also same way to you know okay next entrance and so they have, they have been in this journey with me from a long for a long time now so i can't thank them uh, like with words alone my parents and yeah my husband and my parents really helped me a lot to you know you know keep this going okay very nice very nice uh, anita it was very nice uh, speaking to you uh, i think uh, you inspire a lot of uh, students who are uh, preparing for uh, dm neonatology and all those things uh, we wish you a bright future i wish you will get a good seat in a good institute at which place you want so all the best to you thank you very much sir thank you very much